Hi, welcome back to Find the Revealed in episode number 42 of Be the Change. This week we're going to focus on being nimble, when to get going and how to get going, and then when to drop it like a bad habit. So first, let's go into each segment or each uh, new building block or each new task of the day. So whatever it is, first thing you want to do is have your intention set for what you expect to get out of this, what you're, what you're going to focus on, and how it fits into your overall plan and your overall change, and take the broad view. Have that intention. I'm going to do this. This is, this is how it's going to go. It's going to be, it's going to be fun and I'm going to make the most of this time. So you set your intention for how you're going to do it. Next, you couple it with your energy. And I have had the opportunity to be in the audience in a couple of TV shows. One was a daytime TV show and one was a nighttime. Both of them were a variety or comedy. And they were different atmospheres. It was a really fun experience. But the one thing that I noticed about each one of them is there's a warm up person that comes out to get the crowd oriented to, uh, you know, obviously if you're taping it during the day and it's going to show at night, it's a little bit different audience and they give you instructions. But for each one of them, even though they were a little bit different, each one of them had the good energy. And it's true that the people feed off of the energy. So you, in your change, need to create that atmosphere for yourself. Do you have a favorite song that you listen to that gets you going? Do you have uh, some other kind of a routine that you do? Is it is it where you're set up that makes you feel good? So do something. You've set your intention for what's going on. Now do something to get yourself in the right frame of mind energetically so that you're excited and you're happy. So those two things are going to really launch each different part in each different segment that you do every day. Uh, it applies. It applies when they're, you're getting up for a big meeting. It applies to our lives. We need to really add some more enthusiasm in it. And then the next thing, when you are accomplish this task or this segment or whatever it is that you're doing today, you need to drop it like a bad habit, okay? That is when you have finished what you're doing. Uh, they say, you know, be like a dog, pee on it and walk away. Don't linger and and this is more so if something goes wrong or something new comes in to, you know, make some type of uh, rearranging necessary or or something, you know, you get the opportunity to try something more than once because you're tweaking it or whatever. Each time, don't linger over, oh no, I, and I really wanted this to happen and blah, blah. You're just going to waste time. Let it go. And as you go through this, it's kind of a stop and a start. You want to get revved up, set your intention, get your energy, get going. Then when you you finish that part, now some of us like to step back and go look at it. I know when I'm doing yard work. I put something out there and then I have to go back and look at it. You can enjoy it along the way. It's not like something that has to be so rigid. But once it's that part's finished to the best that you can do right then or for whatever reason, then let it go. Be happy. You've done, you've done your best. And then in the overall process, think of it in a couple of ways. One way you can think of it as you are the tree and you're just going to bend in the wind. You're, you're going to be solid but flexible. And that's what nimble is all about. Or another, another description that I like is on the sailboat. You know, you're on the sailboat and you're going along. Yep, the wind changes. That You need to adjust. But you don't go crazy because if you go too hard or too crazy, you're going to, you're going to, flip it or the boom is going to whack you or, you know, something's going to happen. So easy does it. Get your energy, get your intention, and then move on. That's the best way that I can describe to be nimble. So I hope this was helpful. If it was, give me a thumbs up. Have a great week. Share this with someone that might benefit. Subscribe to see the other videos and come back and see me next time. Thanks for watching.